Hi, my name is Jackie James. I'm the founder of the VA Project, an online coaching and mentoring program that has been helping virtual assistants to change their lifestyles since 2015. Welcome to the VA Project Blogcast, where I will share what I did to go from a corporate career to running my own business and living a debt-free lifestyle. If I can do it, you can too. Let's jump into the episode. Hello, it's Jackie here and welcome to the VA Project Blogcast. Today I wanted to have a little chat to you about a, a myth, and it is a myth, the one that says... You can start your VA business in an hour, in 60 minutes. We've all seen the posts. They're out there everywhere on social media. You know, the ones that I'm talking about, the ones that tell you that there's nothing to starting your biz. It's a side hustle and you can do it in 60 minutes. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the 60-minute launch is a myth. It's a lie. It's a figment of somebody else's imagination. That might be harsh, but it's true. You can't believe half the stuff that others put out there on social media. It's similar to a sales tactic to get you to sign up, sign on, pay or subscribe to that next super expensive get rich quick program. They're also a myth. Uh, I have very strong opinions about this and you'll find that out as you keep listening to the podcast. While we can begin to take steps to launch our VA businesses within an hour, Building a successful and sustainable business requires much more than signing up for a program. The VA project included, it takes much more. It takes careful planning, preparation and execution. So here are some of the things that you need to consider when you're starting your virtual assistant business. You know, the one that's going to take you a heck of a lot more than an hour to launch. So some of us are fly by the seat of our pants type people while others are planners and love nothing more than getting out the old pen and paper, that's me, and nut out what we need. I'm afraid when it comes to planning your business, you can't fly by the seat of your pants. You need to establish a solid foundation for your business. So whether that is with pen and paper or an online program, it doesn't matter. If you rush through the planning stage of your business, you'll make some awful decisions, guaranteed. How do I know? Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. So that will not help you achieve your long-term goals. Planning takes hours and days, insert, eye roll, yawn, you don't have that amount of time. Well, if you want to create something that's going to change your lifestyle, you need to find the time. Just putting that out there right now, up front. It's more than an hour. So here are just a few things that you should put on your radar and think about when it comes to planning. Who is it you want to work with? Do they have a specialty area or niche? Is that what you want to focus on? What services will you provide to fill the niche that your clients, prospective clients are working in? How will you price those services? And you will know how to do this once you know who your target market is. Believe me, it makes all the difference and it has nothing to do with how how much you want to earn in an hour or how much you earned in corporate and you want to earn the same amount working from home. It's very different. And then what are the business goals and what are your personal goals and what needs to happen in order for you to achieve both your business and personal goals? So having all that to say, another important thing to think about is the legalities, the law. Do not break the law. Do not think that you can, in Australia, for one, 
just stay at home, start making business and do it as a side hustle because side hustles require effort and planning and your VA business, the one that's going to change your lifestyle, not the one that's going to give you quick money for a couple of months and then nothing. You want a business that will last you for years. This alone will take almost an hour just to check out itself, all the legal stuff. So there, again, boom, blown the myth out of the water. So these are some considerations. Getting legal and financial advice from those who are qualified to give it. And that is not me. I am not qualified to give legal and financial advice. I can only talk about the experiences that I've had. So checking with your local council or shire or county, what permits do you need? Setting up your business bank account. Do you need one bank account? Do you need two bank accounts? Do you need help in putting money aside for tax and VAT or GST, think about that. Or if you're that smart with your money that you can leave it all in one account and know that it's there when it comes time to pay the bills. What financial records are you going to keep? How are you going to keep them? What software are you going to use for invoicing, if any? Organise the insurances that you may need depending on the type of work you're going to do. And contracts and agreements and service documents, these are all things that you may be required to have by law. So you need to check in on that for whatever state or country is relevant to you. Then there's branding. or well, How are you going to portray your identity within the business? Branding is an essential part of your business identity. And I'm not talking about wearing a turtleneck jumper like Steve Jobs used to do or um, a grey T-shirt like Mark Zuckerberg. I'm asking you if you have a trading name or if you're going to use your own name. Like, for example, my trading name is JMJ EA for a day. And there are three different business entities that lie underneath that. The VA project is one of them. Three Bellas is another. Brand is built around me, my capabilities and my worth. So everything is linked to Jackie James. So as I am the one doing the hard yards, not JMJ, so researching which is best for your type of VA business is a must do. So people constantly reinvent themselves. So don't think that whatever you choose now will be with you forever. You can change your brand identity anytime to suit your business model. So here are just some things to consider when it comes to creating your brand. What's going to set you apart from all the other VAs? Think about what makes you unique. Know your personality type. This took me years to work out. I often wondered why I did the things that I do and the way that I do them, and it all comes down to my personality type. So it makes perfect sense to me now. Create a style guide. Create a logo. Have your business name, whether it's a trading name or whether it's your personal name. And a website, it is the only 24-7 advertising tool you'll ever have and you'll own it if it's a WordPress site, if it's a Wix site or any other online site that you pay a monthly premium for, you will never own it. It will always be at the mercy of price increases and limitations on what you can and can't do. So I suggest a WordPress website. And social media accounts, where does the lead, ideal lead for you hang out? Whether it's LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, X, you need to work out where they hang out so you're not wasting your time focusing money and energy on social media accounts that are going to do nothing for you or your business. So then how will you find a client? To do this, you need to undertake a client persona, especially if you're going to work within a niche. 
How can you find clients if you don't know who you want to work with? So finding clients can involve some of these points. Work out what it is you love doing. Then find clients that will love what you do. Create a client persona. Include where they hang out. What commonalities do you share? Can they afford to pay the price for the service that you're offering? These are just some of the many things that you need to put in place when it comes to planning your business. And to find out more information, visit the Gone Rogue section on the VA project. We have a program in there that is free. It contains 10 modules that will walk you through all different aspects of setting up your virtual assistant business. You'll hear what I did, what worked, and what didn't work. So if you want to know more, visit www.thevaproject.com and get the help you need to build the business to change your lifestyle. Thank you so much for listening in to the VA Project Blogcast. For more great resources, visit www.thevaproject.com and start changing your lifestyle. If you're sick of getting lost in the mega online groups, join our online community on Facebook. Simply search The VA Project and I'll look forward to welcoming you.